Hello doers, my name is Jose Ignacio. Today we're going to be talking about standard quotations, which, while they are informative, they kind of lack a certain personality that most companies, such as Stealthy Wood, work hard to obtain. And it's that personality, style, and attention to detail that often sets us apart from the rest of the pack. Nowadays, customers expect everything about the shopping experience to be customized specifically for them, while also being visually appealing. And that's where Odoo's PDF Quote Builder comes into play. With Odoo's PDF Quote Builder, companies can create stunning quotations that are customized for each customer's specific order. Each quotation includes the standard order line section like we're supposed to be seeing. And we're also used to that. After all, it's literally the most important thing, so don't forget that. However, depending on what's added to the quote, the PDF can also include other relevant and customizable sections, like unique product specifications, about us, cross or upsell product offerings, and more like all dressed up pretty nicely. So enough chit chat, let's jump into our database to see how all of this works. So starting off on our sales app dashboard, let's go to configuration and settings. I want you to scroll down over here until you reach the quotations and orders section. And I want you to enable the PDF quote builder by selecting that little checkbox right there. After you do that, make sure you hit save in the top left and let's get to it. So with this locked in, we're going to actually want to take a look at the headers and footers page, which we could access by clicking this link that we have right there. But we're going to go ahead and assume that you want another way. So let's go up to configuration. And then you might have guessed it. We're going to go to headers and footers. Okay, so here you're going to find all the dynamic PDF components that have been created and uploaded to the database. As you can see, we already have a few, three to be exact but we still need to get a quality header updated and uploaded over here to Odoo, which is exactly what we're gonna do today. So the process goes like this. You're gonna create a custom PDF with all the information and images you wanna share with your customers with the help of a third-party PDF builder, like Adobe. Today, I'm gonna to be using a free, free, open source PDF builder known as Scribus, Scribus, depending on how you wanna say that. Okay, so once the PDF is created with the dynamic attributes embedded, and of course, complete with all of those eye-catching elements that capture the client's attention, don't forget those, you can upload it to the back end of the sales application on this page, actually, specifically with this upload button right there. So, the header section is the first thing that the customer sees at the top of the larger compiled PDF document. So we want to include all the information that's relevant to their specific order and present it nicely. You can do this in two parts by using dynamic attributes in the PDF program that update the text automatically based on the information Odoo gives it. And then for the second part, by using a design program like Adobe, Canva, GIMP, MS Paint, I don't know, to incorporate any images or stylings we'd like to include to uplift the overall presentation. So for that, we actually need to go ahead and hop on over to our application. So I'll see you there. So here we're inside of the software and right away, you're going to notice that there are some boxes that we have all over the place. So here we are inside of our PDF and you're going to notice right away, there are some boxes everywhere all over the place. Those boxes represent our dynamic text fields. Let's say I want to add a validity date field to our PDF quote. No problemo. For that, I'm going to click on the PDF text field icon, which happens to be this little newspaper one that looks like it's right next to this dot. We're gonna click somewhere on the page and immediately you'll notice we have this nice little red box that's opened up. So we're gonna drag it around to decide the size that we want. And once that it's perfect and done, we're going to now double click it. Once we do that, we have this pop-up box that's given us a lot of other information. The very first thing where I can do right now is customize the dynamic text name. In our case, this one, we're gonna change it to, I'm gonna pick validity dates. And you're gonna see why in a second. Make sure that I type that proper. Okay, and while I'm here and while you're here, there's a lot of other things that you can customize inside of this pop-up. Let's just keep our focus on the important elements for this video. So I'm gonna select OK so that we can move on. Great, now just so you know, we do it in lowercase with underscores so it mirrors the technical name value inside of Odoo. If you're actually curious what a technical name for a specific field is inside of Odoo, there's a super easy way to find out. So once you're inside of Odoo, you must be in developer mode. And then once that you are in developer mode, you navigate to orders, quotations, and in our case, select a sales order. 
So while in developer mode, all you have to do is hover the cursor or over the question mark beside your desired field. And in the pop-up over that appears, the technical name can be found in the second row titled field. In this case, you can see that the technical name for the expiration field is validity dates. And that's pretty cool, right? Okay, so now back over here. Back on our PDF header inside of progress that we're making, let's just say that we've successfully configured all the necessary PDF text fields that we wanted and we're ready for the next step. Well, awesome. Now we need to make sure that the mapping between the text field and the dynamic field are set up correctly in Odoo. So first, we're actually going to go up to file and then what you want to do from here is select export. And then that brings us to a new menu. Now inside of here, you want to select save as PDF. And I need you to ignore the errors for now, I know. And in this case, ignore the errors. And now once that we're finally done, select save. Great. Now we can head back over to Odoo. So I'll see you there. So here we are back inside of our Odoo database. And I happen to be in the configurations and header slash footer section. So once uploaded, by selecting upload over here to our header PDF, it's going to appear immediately over here in the same list. So we're actually going to open it by selecting it once and we're going to select the configure dynamic fields option right there. Now the form field name column over here represents the PDF text field that we added to the document with our PDF builder. The path field over here represents the technical name for the desired field inside of Odoo. And looking at our latest validity date one that we have, well, it matches the correct path in Odoo, meaning Odoo is able to automatically recognize it and form its own path without any manual intervention. Saves us a lot of time. You're also going to notice there's a funny one. We have partner ID name over here, but we have partner ID dot name over here with a period. And that's because in the PDF builder that we used, it didn't allow the use of periods in the field name. But if you get close enough and you compensate with underscores that we have over here, Odoo is able to offer the closest suggestion, which in this case is perfect. And if we jump back to our PDF form using the breadcrumbs, which today is pretzels, the bread. We're going to come over here to this page where there's a lot of useful fields of information. We can see the document type up here is displayed along with our file name. And we can even add this to quotation templates if we'd like right below that. That way, whenever we use those configured templates inside of a quotation, we're going to have this PDF option available on the quotation form. So let's select the very first one that we have right there. You can also designate this, and I'm sure you could see, to be to a specific company. If you're working in a multi-company environment, this might be something that you like. If you leave it blank, it's going to apply to all companies in the database. We can also see immediately we have our form fields included here, which if you recall, were in the list of dynamic fields we just saw a moment ago, along with the history section as well. You know, when, who created this, when. But once we're done with looking at all of this, I'm going to save this manually. All right, everything looked good. Let's see this sucker in action. So to do that, we're going to go to orders, quotations, select new, and let's get started. I'm going to bother Abigail. I'm feeling like the letter A today. We're going to select our office furniture as the quotation template because I just talked about that one as well. Okay, there we go. Now this got started right there. Okay, next, let's jump into the quote builder tab here that we have. Let me go right there. Okay. Look at that. Here you're going to find all the PDF headers and footers we've created. We can decide which of them to include in this specific PDF quote. So let's click on our newly created header. And then we're going to select our about us as well. Because Abigail is a new customer who might be curious about our company. Then we're going to go with, in our case, testimonials. And we're going to bypass the terms and conditions because no one reads them. All right, perfect. Then with all our selections and configurations complete, it's time to send this quotation to the customer for their review and approval. So we're going to select send by email. I'm going to let that cook for a second because it's making a beautiful PDF slash email for us. And while that flies over to Abigail's inbox, once we hit send, we can actually take a look at the PDF quote just to see that just by taking a quick peek. And uh, what do you see oh doers in there? everything we've been cooking this whole time. There is our validity date as well, right where we wanted it to, along with the custom sales order number, the customer's name. Oh my God, we have everything and so much more. And there's a lot of uh, cool things, but oh, 
We even have our quotation right there. Of course it's there. And there you have it, Odoers. You just saw how easy it is to create and customize and use Odoo's PDF Quote Builder. Please stay tuned for more Odoo sales tutorials coming your way. You, I'm sure you can't wait to see what I'm cooking. Grab a snack. Zaps Chips, please sponsor me.